Hi everybody, welcome to Fit with Deb. I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about the importance of sleep for fat loss. A lot of people are stuck in their weight loss goals and it could be that you're not getting enough shut eye, which is really important. Our bodies need about seven to eight hours per night and the sad statistic is that most Americans are getting six hours a night if they're lucky and that's not okay. So a lot can happen while we are asleep. So it's really important to start prioritizing, closing our eyes and getting really solid rest. It can be a great hormonal reset for your bodies. And I know a lot of people like to use that time to be in bed, to look at their screens on whatever devices. If you can limit that and set up a better bedtime ritual that may include reading or taking a bath in advance, lowering the lights, cooling the house, and getting in on, on a very predictable sleep schedule, it will help you to further your goals with nutrition. So a lot of times I'll tell people, go ahead and skip a workout if it means you can get a nap in because naps are equally good in helping your body to not store fat, but instead to burn that fat. We all know how grouchy we are when we wake up from not having enough sleep. There's a lot of stuff that's going on within our bodies that we can't see when we're not getting adequate shut eye. So when we don't get enough sleep, we therefore have less motivation. If we have less motivation, we're not really going to want to exercise. And even if we do exercise, we can't really give it our all because we just don't have the strength to do it. In addition, not getting enough sleep means you're actually hormonally set up for failure. Your body will crave especially starchy carbs and your body because of all these hormones going on within, you'll actually have less willpower to resist them, especially those late night cravings that we get for the starches, the, the fun chips and cookies and such. Think about it, if you're asleep, you can't eat, right? And most late night snacking starts around 10 p.m. So if you're asleep by that time, then you cannot put your hands to your mouth. Okay, so if you're tired, you're more fatigued and your body is all the time trying to catch up and therefore you are also more sens sensitive in the insulin department. So it means your body, body is unable to shed the fat that you wish it would because it's holding on to it because of your cortisol levels being so high, your body is actually in a fight or flight response. So you don't wanna set yourself up for diabetes, which insulin can lead to. Just from getting sleep, you can get diabetes. That is insane to me. And you need the sleep for recovery post-workout. So the workouts that I do on Fit With Deb are extremely strenuous on the body. It is a stress to your body, and therefore you need the sleep for your muscles and tissues to have that time to recover and be prepared to do it again. You don't want your brain activity dulled. You don't want to be grouchy. And you want to be able to make good decisions, which lack of sleep will actually prevent you from making great decisions. And you'll be more impulsive, which again leads to that second slice of cake, whereas normally you would regulate and say, mm, maybe just one slice of cake. Sleep does burn calories. And it is, it just feels good. It feels right. You are designed to be this machine that needs this darkness. Your eyes need to be closed and you need this rest. So I encourage you to take time to set a, a consistent bedtime, not a weekday and weekend bedtime, which I know is really hard, especially if you have young children in the house and as well as if you have a challenging job position. But I encourage you really try to at least start little by little. If you can just get 30 more minutes a night, you will be impressed at how your body will start shedding those unwanted pounds. So thanks for joining me today. Make sure you subscribe to my awesome YouTube channel and I really appreciate it. Good night.